So let's take a look at this problem here where you're asked to draw um, the total amount of possible chlorinated isomers of this compound here. They give you the Lewis structure here, so let's see what you drew, which is not what is given to you. You have uh, your, your molecule is actually one, two, three, four, five, six. You have actually a, a methyl hexane here. Uh, they're talking about a butane molecule, so right off the bat, you have the incorrect structure. But if you look at the molecule that they're talking about, which is right here, one version of it, you could chlorinate this carbon here, which has one hydrogen, and we'll go back up here and take a look at it. Uh, we're talking about this hydrogen here could be removed or substituted. Uh, these two CH3s are chemically different than these CH3s, these three here. So either one of these can be chlorinated. That would produce a second compound, and either one of or any one of these three can be chlorinated. Uh, and so that's what they uh, produce here as their answers. Let's take a look at another one um, what you had trouble with. But let's see what we have. Um, same question, predict the number of um, chlorinated isomers that could be produced if this molecule is chlorinated. Well, these three CH3s are chemically identical. So any one of uh, these uh, hydrogens on these carbons can be substituted, and that's what uh, this here is about. And this hydrogen right here, this CH, that hydrogen there and that CH could be substituted, and that's what this product here is about. This problem here, uh, you need to answer the same kind of a question, similar kind of a question. When 2-methylbutane reacts with chlorine, uh, four possible isomers may form. Draw them. Well, 2-methylbutane, the molecule you have here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have a pentane here. This is regular old pentane. So all your molecules here are incorrect. So let's see what they have here. One, two, three, four. There's the, pent uh, the butane chain, and there's the methyl group on number two. So if we look at, let's say, this structure and examine the different hydrogens that are in this structure, these carbons are chemically identical because they're both bonded to the CH. So either one of these um, sets of hydrogens can be substituted with a chlorine. So there's one of them. This hydrogen here can be substituted with a chlorine, and that's what this molecule is about. Right here, this or this carbon right here it has no hydrogen, so there's the chlorine that replaced this hydrogen. Uh, this CH2 um, is chemically different than the other carbons. So either one of these hydrogens can be substituted. And that's what this molecule here is about. And then finally, this CH3 is different than these two CH3s because this is bonded to a CH2. Uh, so that's what this molecule here is about. Again, similar sort of a question. Predict the number of isomers, chlorinated isomers, that could form for this molecule. And let's examine this molecule and determine where we have different carbons, therefore different hydrogens that could be substituted. Um, let's see, this looks pretty symmetrical right over here, so this CH2 and this CH2 are identical, and this CH3 and this CH3 are identical. So that means we could get two molecules, um, two different molecules. One chlorine could be, um, can replace this hydrogen, and a chlorine can replace this hydrogen. So we have two isomers. And then, of course, 
this hydrogen right here can be can be substituted and so that's three and we also have CH2, CH3 here, which are identical to these other two. So I count three possible isomers. Um, again, this branch, this entire branch is chemically identical to this entire branch, which is chemically identical to this entire branch. So that means you can only get two isomers from this branch. And then you have this hydrogen. So that's where I'm getting my three from. And they have three. And there they are. Um, that center carbon with that one hydrogen, the uh, CH3 out in the end, and then the CH2 uh, one in from the end. Similar kind of question. Let's see. You drew okay, the correct reactant and you predicted one of the products here. and This is another product. So you came off to a good start, but you just didn't finish it. Uh, so let's look at all the possible possibilities here. Um, these CH3s right here are chemically identical because they're connected to the CH. The CH is different than any other carbon here. This CH2 is different than anything else. Uh, this CH3 is chemically different than these two CH3s because it's bonded to the CH2. So there are one, two, three, four different chemical environments or different chemical environments for these hydrogens to exist in. So that means you get four possible isomers.